everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. More Iran, a quiet city in the shadow of the seismic chaos. Today, July 25th, a magnitude 5.0 earthquake rocked this southern province, shaking homes and igniting fears about Iran's nuclear sites. With deadly faults and a nuclear power plant nearby, is more a ticking time bomb in the Middle East? USGS reported it as a magnitude 4.9, uh, but it's a 5.0, and it's a port, a major hub for oil and gas industry. Has a deep history, yeah, for this area. Let me bring this out using Google Earth, and you can see I got drawn out some fault lines. Here we have what's called the mountain uh, front fault. It's part of the Zargos fault zone. You can see here in 1956 there was a magnitude 5.7 and I'll bring it out a little bit farther and we'll go over here by the uh, uh, Busher nuclear power plant. Yeah there was a 6.7 in 1972, a 6.3 in 2013, a 5.6 and a 7 point something I don't know. That was in 1953. At 4.06 p.m. local time, the 5.0 quake struck near Moore, uh, just 10 kilometers in depth, sending light tremors through homes and markets. Some people did panic, but there was no death. Minor cracks splintered through mud brick walls. But the real threat lies 200 kilometers northwest, the Bushner nuclear power plants, Iran's only active reactor. There was small damage reported from other earthquakes that happened in that region in the past. Zargo's uh, ridge system, where the Arabian plate slams into the Eurasian plate, turns out quakes like Moore's quake in 1972. A 7.1 earthquake uh, occurred 150 kilometers away that did kill 5,000 people. And we'll come down here to today's earthquake. The High Zargoff Fault, which I have up dr drawn out over here, could unleash a magnitude 6.0 or larger monster, flattening unreinforced homes and could cause a lot of death and destruction. But many know that the stakes are much higher. Which are was built to withstand supposedly a magnitude 7 quake and they're currently doing more construction there they have uh, Russian workers working in that location um, it is 200 kilometers away or about 139 miles and it's safe at this time yet a closer strike could test its Russian steel yeah they often go on strike there at the different factories and um, at the power plants or the where they extract and yeah store all the oil and gas there's a lot of strikes that happen there employees call um, calling for higher wages yeah they're yeah they go through a lot there and it's a very dangerous job and they're not paid a lot so I'm showing you some of the the tanks that store the different oil and gas in that location, the air pollution is so bad lately, since the industry has grown. They're saying that the life expectancy of people has actually decreased by about nine years. Yeah, it's some very strenuous uh, circumstances to have to live under. Here's an image showing the recent earthquakes from um, there in Iran. We got the 4.9, but. Yeah, I think it was upgraded to a 5.0. Two days ago, there was a 3.1. Three days ago, a 2.2. Four days ago, a 3.0. A 2.1, another 2.1. 2.5. I believe I reported this one six days ago, the 5.0. Yeah, so much turmoil going on there. It's really a highly seismic area. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.